Since the days of Bach and Beethoven, one musical principle has reverberated across continents and cultures, theme and variation. Hip-hop is no different. Your loops and melodies are your main themes, and how you vary them creates excitement and drama in the music. Now, let's look at making our first beat. So I want to do something that kind of has a bounce, you know, I want that kind of like, hey, hey, that kind of trap bounce. So I'm going to select 160 because I, I like that pulse, you know, it kind of is giving me uh, a faster subdivision to, to feel. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you know, and I can think of my subdivisions a little differently. So this tempo is going to give me the feeling that I want to start programming my beat. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add some drum sounds. I'll keep that going. So I'm going to add a snare, kick, and just start moving it around to give me my beat. And the Ableton is really great. If you already know the position of what you want to do, all you have to do is highlight it, press Command D, and it'll copy in the exact same spacing. So I knew that, OK, I want this snare drum on beats two and four. I already kind of had it outlined like that. So I just have to just copy it. Actually, no, I want it on beat three in this example. So I just copied it, and now I have it where I want it. It's a great little you know trick to speed up your workflow. And as you're making beats, the one something that's really important is having your workflow to be fast and efficient. Uh, uh -huh. Don't want that. It's always good also to know exactly what you're trying to do. So hear the beat in your head before you start programming it. So I'm hearing boom, boom, cut, boom, boom, cut, boom, cut, uh, boom, boom, cut, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this out. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey. Boom, cut. Yeah, do that again. And then actually, if I want the same thing, then what I'll do just command D this whole section, copy it. Now I have my basic loop. I have my basic drum pattern. Maybe I'll add some hi hats. Why not? Some saucy hats. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it, get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. Drum back, drum back, drum back. Oh, drum back, drum back. And I need a hi hat. Oh, drum back, drum back. And I need a hi hat. Whoa, give me that hat. Whoa, whoa. We'll use that. We'll use that. And what's cool is I'm going to take my hi hats, copy them a couple times so that I can get different pitches. We like that. So this one, I'm going to go up. This one, you're going to go down. And this one, just a little bit. And then, since I'm using the push, I'll use this repeat section, but I can do this in a lot of different ways. So let's just add that. So now I'm going to add a little melodic idea. I'm going to steal a classic theme from Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. All right, let's see if we can drop that in our beat. Yeah, now we got it. So we got a little thing going here. Just add this 808 for some life. So we have my four bar loop, just a simple loop with the Beethoven theme. I got something I like. Now I made two slight variations in the groove, right? 
on the first variation, all I did was add an extra snare drum. And you'll see, I added it right here. Just that little bit of a variation does a lot to open up the beat. Now let's look at my second variation. An extra snare, a kick fill. Right, so my second variation has a couple more things changing. Let's go back to our original loop. This is the basic loop, right? We can hear this all day. You can hear this all day. But you can also make variations by taking things out. If I take the hi-hats out, now I have another variation. So when you start to arrange your beat, it's as simple as just knowing how to mix and match the things that you created in four bars. Right, now I brought that back in. Technically, that's a variation. Let's go to variation two. It's the same process. You either take things out, add things in. Drop the kick out, it's a new variation. Why you hesitate and you gotta be patient. Whoa, here's some kick to go. Take it out for a little bit. Now it's back, but you know, ooh, ooh. Drop the air the weights out. Now it's feeling like we don't got no bass, but we about to be in that house. What you say, ooh, now there's bass, ooh, now there's bass, <laughs> you know. Anyway, that's the whole idea, is that you just wanna make simple variations to your beat because it's gonna give an artist, you know, like myself, I started, you know, I got in the vibe because I have things to play with. And remember, it's always about making sure your artist shines. So you want to create enough space in the music for the artist to tell their story and to actually craft and create the song.